We need infrastructure funds. All the African countries are borrowing money to build roads, borrowing money to build dams. Where else does it happen? It's like Kennedy all over again when America was being built. It's a golden opportunity. It's never going to happen again if anybody misses it. Where did Kennedy make his money? He made it from steel because everything was being built at the same time. But there is that opening right now in Africa for long-term funds for infrastructure, for mortgages, venture capital, because what we have mostly is commercial banking. Nobody, absolutely nobody finances startups in Africa. So the ideas are going to rot. The only reason why there's no Silicon Valley in Nigeria, in Ghana, is because there's nobody funding the good ideas. The brains are not deficient, we're as intelligent. We need to know that Africa actually is ready for business, but there are challenges. We need to know that there are awesome opportunities in Africa. Why? The very problem of Africa, it's its strength. The fact that leadership in Africa is not as developed as it should be. The fact that the governments have left a huge lacuna in providing certain social services and, 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 and structures, so to say. This is where, for instance, in Nigeria, it's not supposed to be a good thing, or in Ghana, you could park your car and somebody would jump in and actually pay you a fare to ride in your car. It's not that regulated. That's why I said to you, I can sell water in Nigeria. It's someone's role to provide the water, the government, they're not doing it. So everybody's an entrepreneur stepping into that gap to make sure it works. That an African is probably much more intelligent than people understand. Why? Intelligence is about the ability to learn, adapt quickly, and you know, use the knowledge to better your life, so to say. Now, but we have a guy who is 20 something, live in Africa, wherever, I would say Ghana, for 20 something years of his life. Then he comes to the US, begins to unlearn everything he's learned, learn it again, and still excel. What do you say about that kind of person? That he's dumb? He isn't. So we have a very resourceful, resilient, kind of people that you throw all kinds of things at and they still continue to function. I have functioned on a generator in my office for maybe the last 10 years. The generator has almost always been on. If, if it goes off, I'm like, something is wrong. It's strangely quiet in this building. And I still manage to make money. 